It's time for health tips. Now here's your host, Dr. Alma Jenkins. Good evening. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Alma Jenkins, and this is Health Tips. So you might wonder, what are we going to talk about tonight? First, let me thank each of you for watching the show. I run into you at the store, the grocery store, the, the you know, wherever I am out and about town, and you're letting me know that you're watching, and I really appreciate it. Thanks to all of you who contributed at the telethon recently for the fundraiser. Oh, we were so pleased with your response. And we thank you, each of you who contributed, those of you who watched, those of you who wished us well. Thank you so much. And I hope that you got something from the show. We didn't have our regular show, of course, but uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to be uh, a part of the telethon and to still be able to communicate with you uh, at, our, at our showtime slot. So I appreciate that and I appreciate you for watching. Let me also take a minute to let you know that Health Tips is willing to come to your church, your organization, uh, your group, and talk about a health topic. We look forward to doing that. And also we'd like to invite you to send your recipe in. If you have a, a healthy recipe that you want us to try, particularly now that the holidays are approaching, um, we'd love to do a, a, a wonderful healthy Christmas dish or you know, something that you might have done even for Thanksgiving that was fun and healthy. So whatever you have that you think we'd love to taste and it's healthy, send it in. We might want you to come on the show and prepare it, or we may just want to prepare the dish, and of course we'll give you credit for it. Thank you so much for considering sending your recipe in to us, and we'll look forward to getting some recipes in here pretty soon. All right, so what are we going to talk about tonight? Well, you know, a lot of times we do veggie dishes. Um, sometimes we've done meat dishes but we don't do a lot of fruit dishes. And so I came across a very interesting pear recipe uh, from Martha Stewart uh, on the internet, and I thought I would try it. And it involves us getting some pears. Now these are relatively small pears compared to what you normally might go to the store and buy. There are larger pears out there. These are small and uh, you have to prepare them. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, but let me tell you a little something about the pear. Pears are very healthy, of course, for you. And what do you get from pears? Well, from this wonderful little fruit, you can get fiber. You can get vitamins B2, C, E, copper, and potassium. So you're getting some great nutrients from the pear. Uh, you also can get pectin, which is a soluble fiber, water-soluble fiber. And there's actually more pectin in the pear than in an apple. So you're getting the fiber, and what do, we, what do we want with fiber? Well, fiber helps us to get our bowel movements regulated. So to keep you regular, you need some fiber. So then pears would be a good source of that. And we're gonna cook these pears with the skin on, so that's even more fiber, okay? So what do we have to do first? Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the pears ready. We're gonna prepare, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of surprise you about what we're gonna do. But first we're gonna have the pears. I'm gonna do that with both of them. Okay, so there. Then we're gonna cut the core, a core out of the pears. Okay, so we're gonna cut the core out of the center of two of them and then the backs of two of them, okay? So we're gonna take a teaspoon and cut the core out. See how I've made a, a core here? 
And you want it kind of deep because you're going to be putting something in that. So it's also cutting that seed core out that's in the pear. Okay? So we're going to make it just a little deeper. Okay? There we go. Now then, we're going to turn over two of them and cut the core, cut a core this way. Now, of course, it's still going to have that seed bottom in this one. Okay. There you go. Now, why did I do it that way? Because I want this pair to sit relatively straight. So, what I might do is cut just a little piece on this side to make it sit with, so, so it won't, uh, I don't need this to, to, to turn over. You may have to try, try and balance it if you can. This one's gonna need a little help too. Okay. There we go. All right. So these are your things we don't need. So we're going to do away with those things there. Okay. And what else are we going to use? Well, the recipe calls for walnuts. I didn't have walnuts, but I have pecans. So we're going to take these pecans and we're going to shell them inside of the scooped out portion. Now, if you have walnuts, use those. Because you know that walnuts um, are wonderfully nutritious for you. Okay? So if you have walnuts, that's even better. But pecans are good too. These are nuts and they give you fiber and they give you vitamins and these are great. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm chipping up some walnuts, some uh, pecans, and putting in the pear center. Okay. Now this is something you can snack on, or something in the morning for breakfast. Um, you, you, in addition to whatever else you have, you can have one of these. Okay. putting pecans in the center there. And if you're gonna use pecans or whatever you're gonna use, just try to break them up in little pieces because I think that actually works out better. Okay. And it's gonna have to be halfway level in order for you to do what do the next step that we have for it. This is a little unlevel pair. You gotta work at it. <laughs> ah, I didn't realize how it could be, but I think this will work. Okay. Now if you end up cutting out the well, okay, let's just try that. All right, so then you take some honey, okay, and you drizzle the honey over the pear like so. Look at that. Gonna do the honey deal. Let's just go ahead and put honey there. Again, you want to try to level it out as best you can. 
because the honey can melt over, it can be a little messy. It can be a little messy. Before you do this, try to get your uh, pear as level as you can um, so that it doesn't topple over, you know. There you go. I think that's better, actually. Okay, that's a little better. Actually, it's a little one-sided still. There we go, that's even better right there. You gotta kind of work at this, you know, hey, I'm not a real chef, I just try to do little things that I like and share it with you. Okay, these are of course flat, so they're good. Can't, can't really hurt these. The ones that are on their belly, on their flat side already. And you're just gonna put honey on it. Okay. Mm. I already got a spoon in the honey. It's already in there. We're gonna have to do the same thing with this one. Because it's tipping over a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna fix it somewhat. And you need to do this really before you get this, the honey in there. We're making a nice mess too. Okay. All right. That looks really gooey, but it's delicious. A little bit more right here. And right there, okay? All right. Now I'm gonna put that honey to the side. There is a spoon in that honey too, I have to tell you. <laughs> oh. Now, for some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. And if it doesn't, and if it looks like you've got like maybe a little pile more cinnamon on there than you're comfortable with, just put a little honey on it, you know. Put a little honey over it, and it'll it'll condense into it over time in the oven. Just put a little bit on that mound so it can go over the cinnamon. This is kind of messy, but you know, you'll like it. Now, if you want, for those of you who love the, the buttery taste, you can also melt a little bit of can't believe it's not butter and put over it before you do the cinnamon. Well, then you set it in your pan. We're gonna set it in these cute little muffin pans that I have, a little um, bread pans, okay? I've got two in each one and we're gonna put them in the oven. Now, I have preheated this oven to 350 degrees, so it's already nice and hot, and that's gonna sit in there. Okay, and then we're gonna put our stuff in the sink, and we're gonna put water over this so it doesn't get too messed up too quickly, because that's honey on my board here, okay? You know, you want to be kind of neat when you're cooking. Some people are really messy cooks, and I can be that way too sometimes. There's a trash can right over there, so when you saw me drop that over there, that's what it went into. Oh, the microphone is doing something. Okay, I think we got it back now. I think so, okay. So, what we did is pear, nuts, honey, and cinnamon. 
and many of you already know that cinnamon and honey are good for you. So if you want to make a nice tea in the morning, get hot water, hot boiling water, lemon, honey, and cinnamon. And just put that together, stir it really good to get all the lumps out, making sure the cinnamon dissolves into it, and drink that. It's delicious. And guess what? I've been told that it's good for joint aches and that sort of thing. I already knew that the honey, the lemon, the cinnamon, individually, they are good for you. So you're just putting it together. All right? So try that. Um, that little tea. In case you don't have tea or you didn't go buy any, you can just squirt, like I said, squirt some lemon juice, honey, and cinnamon together in the hot boiling water, and you've got a nice tea. Uh, tea, tea like drink that you can do. So what are we going to do while that's getting ready? Of course we're going to do some exercises. Okay? Now how many of you do eat at least one fruit a day? You're supposed to have five servings of fruits and vegetables. That could be three veggies and two fruits, four veggies and one fruit, or four fruits and one veggie. You know, but you're supposed to have that combination daily. And I hope you're doing that. Either way, it means you have at least one fruit, okay? So these pears could serve as that for you. They're delicious. Um, by the way, it has to stay in the oven about 25 minutes. You want it to get soft, and you want it, you know, you want it, everything to be able to meld together. You want it to get soft, and you'll, you know, you'll, you'll know, you'll know. But I'd say about 25 minutes, if you want to take a, a fork or a knife or something and push into it and see if it's not much softer, then you'll know. But either way, I mean, there's no such thing as a problem with it not being done. It's only a pear, you can eat it raw, so. Uh, but it's a matter of how well you want it cooked. Uh, pears do really well when, and taste really well, if you're trying to make it a dessert, when they're really soft. That brings out the sweetness in the pear. So you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna keep it in there you know, about that time, about 25 minutes at least. Okay, so let's do some exercises. You got your cans? All right, one, two, ready, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, let's do 20, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 22, 3, 4. Now I have to admit to you one thing about this pair uh, preparation that we're doing tonight. It was messy. There's an easier way to do it. What you want to do is level out your pear before you put all that stuff on it. I just happened to see how it was lopping there and didn't like it and tried to scoop some more out on the bottom, but that makes it more messy. Try to do that before you get everything on it. But even if you don't, you know, no big deal. You can always do that and try and get it as level as you can, okay? All right, let's do, let's continue. And let's do some walking now. Let's let our hands swing, our arms swing. One, two, ready, and one. Lift those legs, two, three, and four. You know, I tried to pick something that most people could do who are able to, you know, move their lower extremities with an instrument that you have in the house, which is a can. We're using it, we're using it as an instrument. But my point was that you shouldn't have to go out and buy expensive equipment and all of that in order to get fit. And we do want you to be fit, okay? All of us need to work on our health. All of us need to exercise just a little bit more. And I have to tell you, since I've gotten a dog, I've been walking more. So there is a benefit to having a pet. I can see that. And I would encourage it. You know, I might not have said this a few years ago. But, you know, this morning my dog wakes up and looks at me because she wants to go outside. So here we go walking. Uh, it's a wonderful time to just reflect, meditate, uh, you know, get fresh air, look around, things you haven't noticed. It slows you down a bit. 
And for those of us on a really fast and hectic schedule, that's a blessing. So thank God for little things, right? Let's try that again. Let's do 25 this time. One, two, three, and one. So you might consider getting a pet. Five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, remember doing 25, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, 2, 3, 4. Okay, great. All right. Okay, let's just do some movements now. We're going to go from side to side, backwards and forwards, and let's stretch a little bit. One, two, three, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. This actually feels good. Nine and 10, we're gonna do 20, 11, and 12. Let's go forward and backwards. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Two, three, four. Oh boy. You know, you can feel yourself revving up as you do these exercises. You start to feel better even just while you're doing them. That's what I like about it. Let's do some twisting further now. One, and two, three, and four. Now this one's easy, five and six. Let's do 10 of these, seven, eight, nine, and 10, two, three, four. Oh, hold on a minute. Let's put our gear back on here. All right, that's what happens sometimes when you're active. Okay. Now let's do a little boxing. One, two, ready, and one. And two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 2, 3, 4. And let's just bend now. Try to bend and lock your knee. Don't bend your knee, just go as far down to the floor as you can. Now, I know you can't see me, but I want you to do that about five times. Just bounce down like this. One, two, three, four, five, and then come up, okay? And then lift your hand and get on your tippy toes and go one, two, three, four, five. Now, those of you who don't do much of that, you might get a cramp, you know, in your leg or your thigh. Wait a minute, get that out of your, out of your thigh there and then try it again. And one, two, three, four, five. And the way you do it correctly, you're gonna raise your hand, but then you're gonna just lift off your toes and you can bend your arm a little bit if you want to. Two, 
three, four, five. Now, you're gonna feel that in the back of your legs. So those of you who wanna get toned and all, that's a good exercise. You're gonna feel it in the back of your leg. Okay, let's just check the oven now. It's not been 25 minutes, but I want you to see basically what things kind of look like, and then I'm gonna show you the finished product. Okay, this is what it's starting to look like, okay? And so we've not gone 25 minutes, but here's your finished product here. These are just ones that were turned on one side, okay? And uh, I'm gonna get a fork out of that uh, drawer over there. And I'm gonna cut a piece of this. This has been in the oven for at least 25 minutes. And I want you to just kinda see, just using this. I'm gonna cut, cut through there. I'm gonna cut some of that, okay? There you go. We don't have much time. And they mentioned that you can use this with some yogurt. So if you wanna have a little yogurt over here. Now this yogurt actually has the berries on the side. We don't have much time, we gotta hurry up. It's got some strawberries with it, okay? So and I want a little spoon over there in the next few seconds. I can have one. Not much time. So look at that. We've got the yogurt. We've got the, the pear. Okay. Look at that. Mmm. That's great. You're gonna love that. Mmm. I love it. So try this with some yogurt. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Alma Jenkins. Good night.